Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Sunday Love. This is part two of me traveling to my dream island and living out my little anime dreams. I don't know if I can take my fan off even for five seconds. Ah! We are still out here scene hunting. We've been doing this all day, actually. Two more scenes we're trying to do today. One of them you can see behind me, which is so freaking dope. Y'all, this fan has been my entire life, this trip. Like, I feel like I actually would have died at some point without it. I don't know if you can tell what this contraption is behind me. It is so freaking dope. I never even knew they existed until the movie. This entire island does not have much flat land. So, their ancestors had to get creative and they built, like, farmland on terraces. In order to get to these, they have all these crazy I don't even know what to call it. It's like a little mini roller coaster. They're literally all over this island. And they just take these little mini roller coasters up the mountain to their farmland. It's a lot of like Mekon orchards and stuff like that. But they got all kind of stuff on this island. I gotta put my fan back on. See how fast I started dripping? Oh! So yeah, in the anime, she was like riding one of these with the yokai up the mountain because they were getting chased by boars. <laughs> This is the coolest contraption. I wasn't actually expecting to see one and they were all over the place. That dang anime is so accurate. Like, yeah, I can feel my stomach eating itself. I just love it. Oh, man. oh snap. What? Better? That is loud. All right, it is time for the infamous running through the shrine scene. I can't wait to explain to my grandkids what I did with my free time in my youth. Recreating anime scenes. 1800 mosquito bites. I can't think of anything other than anime that I love this much. Well, maybe animals, but like, dang. I spent a bunch of time collecting brown leaves for the next scene.
Come here, baby. Come here. Hi, Snooka. Oh, she's the cutest. Do you want some tuna? This store is very far, Snooka. I can't get any tuna. Oh, well, hello. Well, hello, baby. This is not the coolest ad ever. Gosh. The ones that make an anime are made out of straw. Wow. Water feels amazing. You're missing out. Still practicing for when the yokai ask me to dance. This time we got a whole cucumber, a very large cucumber, and not one, not two, but three eggplants. These are beautiful. This also happens to be vegetables that Ash does not eat. experience cooking your own food the whole time every meal you know, I, don't really I don't either just because though, we had that other part of the trip with amazing food the whole time yeah, so i got to try new stuff my stomach hurt so bad from hiroshima i made something great mm, much better just need fiber somewhere more than cabbage that's been fried to death in buying now as long as you plan to keep it at least seven to ten years possible to predict how anything is going to react but generally long term home prices tend to trend upwards so if you're a buyer Finally, the shop that was in the anime. 
Oh my god. Wow, look at you, you beauty. <laughs> the lady that runs the uh, drugstore is like 94, 95, she says. Is this his shop? No, no, no. Oh. 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 We actually met so many kind and generous people on this island, it was just crazy. Have you ever felt like something was made specifically just for you? That's how I felt about this island. I mean, positive vibes left and right. As we were exploring the island, we got to meet so many locals, like this couple we met in front of the storefront who actually have a son who lives in the same town as me. Crazy. We spent so much time talking to them and other locals in the area. These two were actually the second people to offer to drive us around the island and help with this whole anime scene scavenger hunt that I was doing. They told us so many funny stories and wanted to take pictures. Unfortunately, this was around the peak of my hot mess hour, so I need to like blur out my face because your girl looks like hot garbage. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm that sweaty? Holy fud, I can't even vlog. Our next journey was a more difficult one, however, thanks to the locals, we were able to find the house I think was the inspiration behind the house that Momo lived in during the movie. Just as I thought things were winding down, here's where the day got even better. Today was actually the owner's day off from the cafe, and when we got back to the house, she offered to give me a tour of her garden. During our stay, she noticed I was very interested in the vegetables that she grew. We were chatting on and off about gardening, and she told me her garden was located in back of the shrine that we were shooting at earlier. Believe it or not, gardening is actually a huge passion of mine. I was even a proud member of the Future Farmers of America Club in high school. If you've seen some of my past videos, you might have noticed I have a little vegetable garden in my backyard. And when she offered to give me a tour of her garden in back of the shrine, y'all, I just, I don't have words for how amazing this moment was. This lady's life is goals. Oh. She offered to give me some seeds from her cucumbers to take home with me, and I just feel like this is the best souvenir I've ever gotten. When you want to use the seeds from the vegetables you've grown, towards the end of the season, you just let the vegetables keep growing far past their edible stage, and then when they get big enough, you can take the seeds out and use those to plant next time. Sadly, cucumbers are a summer crop, so I'll be waiting quite some time to plant them, but I'm still very excited. Sweet potato, yeah. I had a blast. I took lots of notes and lots of photos. This is gonna go down in history as one of the best days of my life. 
All clean. I have to take a shower. Um, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I don't know what's going on, but three showers a day is the normal on this trip. I don't think I've ever sweat that much in my life. No, I'm very positive. I've never sweat that much in my life. I had to wring out my bra. But yeah, I am covered in bug bites. I don't shave my legs, by the way. There's not enough hair there for me to care. But I shaved today just so I could see how many bug bites there were because there's just so many. My legs are covered. I also have the worst tan ever. Good morning, everyone. It is our final day here. We're actually heading back now. Just finished getting ready, did my makeup. I'm gonna do my hair. I bought a couple of wigs on this trip. This was the main one I thought I was gonna be wearing, you know, long, flowy island vibes. It's the first time I'm taking it out of the bag. Yeah, I thought I'd be wearing long hair the entire time, but I feel like if you have long hair on this island, something's wrong with you. I don't even remember how many inches this was. It's uh, not sponsored. It's from Nadula Hair. I got this one longer. This is the last day here, so I thought I would wear it on my way out. Very excited. We're gonna go back home the other direction. Like the way we got here was through from Hiroshima to Hiro, taking the bridge via taxi. This time we're going the opposite direction. We're gonna take a ferry, finally. I wanted to take a ferry this whole time. I was on the Island. We're gonna take a ferry to Takahara, which is another city I really wanted to check out. We don't have that much time though, cause I need to get back to Kitty and it actually takes a really long time to get back to Tokyo. So yeah, we're gonna take a ferry there and then maybe look around for a little while, get some food at a restaurant. Oh, oh, I love that. Anyways, I'm gonna finish curling my hair, getting dressed and uh, I will check in with you guys when it's time to go. Uh, also, I will link this wig down below in the description box if you guys are interested. Mmm! Wow. I'm just transferring everything from this person to that one. The fact that they look the same, like, why am I even doing this? But it's different. Like, you know, that's more casual and beachy vibes. Oh my god, let's change. <laughs> Perfect.
がちゃんとこうあの、まあ、ちゃんとこう秩序を守っているというかそういうふうになっているのであんまりこう上がれるようなこととかはなくて逆にこう線路をちょっと渡ってたりとか、まあ、大分の温泉にちょっと入ってるとかあのそういうこともあるぐらいなんかこう。